So this is good. So I'm filming you and Martin Yant, who edited my book. Like I said, it was really exciting when I talked to him last night. Because he is, a, you know, he's on Dateline. He's on Locked Up. Not Locked Up. He's on all the shows he testifies to get innocent right. people out of prison. And, right. and I told him, you said... Since you've been back there so long, there are some situations that you don't want to see people get killed or get the death penalty or go to prison for life when they didn't do it. Right. And you're sitting back there in the prison and you've heard stories. I'm not going to say what you just told me because I want Martin to hear that when he comes visit you. That's right. He, did he say he was going to? Well, he, he travels all around of the country so that he can help people that are innocent get out of prison and if they're not innocent he'll figure it out because he's good at what he does right. um but so i'm sure he'll come to visit you once he hears back well, i mean yeah that's kind of what he said in the email he was like you know i'd like to meet with you and talk about this so i mean in order to do that he had to come here yeah he wants really to see wanna, you face I to write face letters and talk about it on the phone you know so i mean it's just I, plus i got papers to show him regarding that and it would be better if he just came in person and viewed them. So I, I said that in the email I sent him. So, oh, good. Because he, he got yeah. your email about me and that you read his book and that you read my book. And have you read my book? I didn't read. I haven't read yours yet. Oh, so okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask him if they got a copy of it in the public library. If they don't, I'm going to get the prison to get it for you. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. Okay, because you know, uh, I don't have the money to yeah. buy my own book and send it to you, or I certainly would because you need it. That's okay. I know people who would order it for me. That's okay. I, I do the best I can to help myself. So, I hey, know. I wanted, to, I wanted to thank you, though. Bruce told me, my buddy Bruce said, um, I don't know if he talked to you or himself or he just went on your page or not, or whatever, but he said um, there was a link on your Facebook page or whatever to mine, and I appreciate that you did that. You're welcome. I want you to have yeah. a voice. All you want to do is not, you You don't want to get your, you just don't want to die. No, hell no. I'm, well, not, not, not just that, but I'm, oh, hold on. Okay. Wait a minute. I gotta, I'm uh, gotta walk all the way over to my cell and go in because okay. the plumbers are in here. Okay. Or ah! some kind of maintenance. I'm listening though, but, um, uh, no, I mean, not just that, but I'm trying. You know, I'm trying to get off that row and regain my freedom as well. Right, because like you, you know, said, I was it, talking to you yesterday. Death row isn't even a deterrent, and you're not. How old were you when you committed that crime? Almost 21 and a half. And now how old are you? I turned 43 in June, on June 6th. And are you the so, same person you were? Oh, I wasn't a bad person then. I just got it involved in some stupid shit I never should have. You know, I was really small back then, too, physically, so I was kind of... This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility. 